recent identification of embryo cell-free DNA in the spent blastocyst media opened a new era of possibilities for non-invasive embryo aneuploidy testing in assisted reproductive technologies. During in vitro embryo development, mostly from day four to day six, embryo cell-free DNA is released to the culture medium with higher concentrations as the number of cells increases at blastocyst stage. The spent blastocyst medium containing the embryo cell-free DNA can be analyzed by next-generation sequencing, representing a non-invasive approach to estimate the chromosome copy number of the blastocyst without the need of a trophectoderm biopsy. iGenomics has carried out a study in eight IVF centers comparing the results obtained in embryo cell-free DNA from 1,301 spent blastocyst media and the corresponding trophectoderm biopsies in couples undergoing pre-implantation genetic testing for aneuploidy PGTA. This is the largest study to date assessing ploidy concordance per embryo between invasive and non-invasive PGTA. The study was designed with two main objectives. To evaluate the concordance and reproducibility of testing embryo cell-free DNA versus trophectoderm DNA obtained from the same embryo in a large sample of 1,301 day six and day seven human blastocysts and to assess the concordance rates with the inner cell mass of the blastocyst in a subset of 81 aneuploid blastocysts donated for research. The results of the non-invasive analysis of embryo cell-free DNA from spent blastocyst medium demonstrated a high concordance rate with the trophectoderm biopsy results. The concordance rate was on average 78.2% ranging from 72.5% to 86.3% in different centers, without significant differences among centers related to culture conditions or blastocyst quality. In addition, in a subgroup of 81 blastocysts, the comparison of the inner cell mass with the embryo cell-free DNA and the trophectoderm biopsies has shown similar concordance rates, 84.4% and 87.5% respectively. We can conclude that this non-invasive approach could avoid embryo biopsies and reduce costs, while democratizing its use and increasing accessibility for a wider population of patients. Nevertheless, more studies are needed to understand the origin of the embryo cell-free DNA and the mechanisms involved. <laughs>